What do I think of the Disney sequel, Return to Neverland? Let's talk about it. Welcome back once again to Peter Pan Lore and Peter Pan Facts with me, your Peter Pan hobbyist and enthusiast. Using my Peter Pan hobbyist enthusiast brain and knowledge to bring you fun facts, lore and trivia, talk about the world of Neverland, the story of Peter Pan, and answer you guys' questions. And today we're going to talk about the Disney sequel, Return to Neverland. And it might shock you to know this, but um, I kind of enjoyed it. The thing you have to remember about Return to Neverland is that it is a sequel to a very problematic movie. 1950s Disney Peter Pan film had so many problematic elements to it, the first and foremost being the treatment of Tiger Lily and her people. Don't think I need to go into that, it's fairly obvious why. They've even put a warning up about it now on the Disney Channel, I believe, before you watch the movie. Apart from all of that, Tiger Lily's character was completely wrecked and changed, as was Wendy Darling's character, the character of Peter himself, Tinkerbell was warped a decent amount, and Captain Hook as well. Their story was not the same as the original, they changed so many things, and... Yeah, all in all, while there are some things that I can find to enjoy about it, they really did not do well in comparison to the source material. So as a lore enthusiast, the story enthusiast, the characters enthusiast, yeah, that movie really bottom tier for me. And so when the sequel came out, it could very easily have just been more of the same and, you know, built on it and made it even worse. However, they didn't. I think one of the reasons why the sequel worked better is because it was no longer beholden to the source material in the same way that the original movie should have been, but clearly wasn't trying to be. We don't know anything about Jane's adventures on the Neverland, and so when they had her in the story, they could do anything they wanted, and there was nothing canonical to compare it to. Well, some of their decisions, for example, the big giant octopus squid thing that replaced the crocodile in a very obvious way, that was kind of odd, but it wasn't so bad that it was unenjoyable. It was a shame that we had Captain Hook again, though. I would have liked to have seen a new villain, because canonically at this point, Captain Hook was deceased. However, Disney didn't kill him off at the end of their original movie, so they kept him going through. And I guess for people coming back to see a sequel, seeing a familiar face, I can understand the draw of that. I also quite like the colours and the vibrancy of their Neverland as well. It was very engaging, very lush and colourful, lots of things going on. I very much enjoy that. I like a full Neverland. Predominantly for me though, I think that the story I enjoyed quite a lot in this one. It had a really good sort of moral message for Jane's character and anyone else watching it about how, yes, you can want to grow up and be taken seriously and do sensible things, but that doesn't mean that you have to miss out on or stop enjoying any of the other things. And it doesn't mean that childish things and games and having fun is silly and not worth your time anymore. And by the end of the story, obviously, Jane had come to terms with that and mashed both parts of her and, you know, she was getting better at not being the serious driven person she could also enjoy life and enjoy the adventures and she wanted to do both particularly engaging with her brother as well and i enjoyed the family dynamics between her and her brother between her and her mother i really enjoyed that and then seeing her reacting to peter pan in the world of the neverland i definitely enjoyed all of the dynamics they had there so the story i kind of enjoyed and particularly in comparison to the 1950s one where the story was bare bones an interpretation of the original lore, which of course is always going to be in my head when someone's doing a version of this story. However, in the sequel, Return to Neverland, there was pretty much nothing to base it on, and so the story they did create ended being quite engaging. Oh, what did you guys think? Have you seen Return to Neverland? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you seen the original Disney movie? If so, I'm sorry. Uh, what's your favourite Peter Pan movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Help. What's your favourite movie? Scrap it, doesn't need to be Peter Pan at all. What is your favourite movie? Let me know. And if you've got anything else you'd like me to talk about, questions, fun theories, etc, etc, let me know in the comments as well.